Hey everyone, how are you doing? I feel like I'm on an episode of my cribs. Uh, today I'm going to show you the IV hydration station and what our setup looks like. It is cold and rainy here in Iowa today, so don't mind the, the rain gear. But let's go and take a tour. <laughs> so as you can tell, you walk in, customers are greeted by a fake plant that needs to be rejuvenized. Over here we have a three pull out drawer system. So top tourniquets, starters, telfa, alcohol swabs, band-aids, alcohol. Uh, then we have a little lab draw section. So we have our own lab company uh, in, that we utilize. So we do do some like G6PDs and other labs on the bus. And then we have extra gloves, some lidocaine gel, zippers, some bug bags. And then here is our setup. So we have three plus two, so we can get five people in here at a time. Um, and usually there's five people going at a time. Our nurse, since you know she's driving, usually an hour and a half to get here um, and then home, and then plus mixing the bags right before she leaves, it's like efficiency. So we might do eight to 10 IVs on the bus in one day. And so it's constantly moving. We get them in in like a three hour time frame, and maybe four or five hour, just depending on the load. And then she's out. So it's a, it's a quick turnaround. Um, and when we talked a little bit last week, it's about, you know, maintaining privacy with the patients as much as, as you can. And we get a lot of compliments for our nurse saying, I felt really comfortable in the bus. I felt really, um, felt like my, my medical care was private and I had a really good experience. So people don't mind in Iowa anyways, sharing, you know, sharing the seats together and, and being in close quarters. Um, here we have some upper storage, the price list so that people can see what they want to get something. We have some like extra lab kits, um, sharps containers, I'm not quite sure why that's in there but um, yeah so just some extra kits. We have our sink, which is, and then our um, natural disinfectants, but sink, it is hooked up to a system down here. So this is the clean water, and this is the, the dirty water, and then it's hooked up to a pump. Alex built this whole clinic out from scratch, uh, so he did all of this electrical, electrical plumbing, everything like that. So garbage can. Uh, under this seat here so we made the seats custom as well which is really nice because we can store a lot of stuff in them and that's what we wanted to do since we have a mobile unit storage space is premium so where can we store things so each chair has an inner storage unit this one has our we have an ego which is um, a battery powered generator so it is quiet and seamless it doesn't have any batteries attached to it now it can have four the girls take them in and charge them each night and those they typically last i mean they last all at least one full day of a trip uh if you hooked up to like if you hooked a heater up to it or something like that it wouldn't last all day but that for us we run our lights on the generator we run our sink we run our ozone machine and our fridge all on that and it's it works really well um over here we have another just one of these cheap containers from like walmart that again we house all of our start kit in sharps gloves Gel gloves 
and then down here we have an emergency kit, an Ambu bag. Uh, you would never think that you'd use it, but uh, maybe a few months ago, our nurse was on the way to a destination and it was raining out cold and she saw a guy run out of his car and he was with a friend. The guy driving ended up having a massive heart attack, so they were doing CPR on the ground in the middle of the highway. And Luckily, she had um, an Ambu bag and she was using it. So hopefully you never have to use the emergency kits inside, but it's always nice to have them on hand. Um, we have our, our wheelchair ramp. We don't use it. We've never used it really. Uh, we take, we have an IV pole connected in here, some lawn chairs, because in the summertime, people are sitting outside getting their IVs and they love it. So, so we do that and it's, it was so nice with like COVID season. If people weren't feeling well, they'd just sit outside. Um, and then when it got colder, they'd sit in their cars um, just because that's how we kept people um, distanced, but not optimal. We like, we like it when it's warm and people are sitting outside. Uh, we have the nurse's chair and everything is bungeed down because of the drive. Um, we have our oxygen machine right here. It's secured in there so it's not moving while it's going. We do have a smaller oxygen tank for with an adult regulator on it so if anybody did have like a code or anything we could use that because with your ozone machine you use a pediatric regulator that only goes up to two liters and then of course we have our longevity ozone machine we have a freezer we have a fridge everything gets cleaned out um, every day when it's not in use. Alex installed magnets on these so that when you're going down the highway they don't fly open. This is by trial and error. I don't recommend it. Um, you know when you're driving and all of a sudden you look back and you see three or four or five of your drawers sticking out like oh my gosh that has happened more than once. Uh, the trial and error of these magnets uh, was quite an ordeal too but the ones that we have in here seem to work really well for the girls. So we have, this is kind of our shot drawer. We have all different types of needles, syringes, masks. Forms, pens, highlighters. Uh, iodine, alcohol swabs, chlorhexidine for... Uh, pick lines and ports. We do, we do do a lot of ports, and we do them on the bus too. Uh, we have blood IV tubing as well for ozone. Regular IV tubing. We don't keep a lot here on storage just because typically they're mixing the bags and have the tubing already hooked up inside the clinic. But we do keep extra on hand because there are people that. Um, come that just want to have an IV that weren't scheduled. Uh, heparin flushes, blood ozone needles, some tappers for vials, stickers for the kids, very important, sterile gloves, prep pads for ozone, uh, blood sugar testing for high dose vitamin C, salt lamp that was necessary at the time that clearly we don't use. I'm very impressed with the girls because I did not do any pre-tests, pre-checks before I'm recording this video. So it looks like they do a really good job of keeping it nice and tidy. Um, we did throw down a, r a rug because it's hard to keep the floors clean in the winter, but um, really with good scrubbing and then having a rug, it, it looks nice. It feels nice. We have a lot of pillows that we use and wash often. Um, in between the seats, we have cup holders, and then we have blankets, important custom, custom blankets with our logo. But it's always important to keep blankets and pillows for comfort. Um, and again, underneath the seat, there's room for extra equipment utilities. Oh, here's some of the batteries. So 
they do unplug them and when they're charged they store them so i think that's all that i have for you guys on the bus i will do a clinic show and tell soon but let me know if you have any questions i will say one other thing so we do have um a, this is a station here where we can plug our stuff in and that connects to the actual um, charger and then here we have this button where you can so this is center so it means it's off so when it's hooked up to our internal electricity we turn it and then we also have a plug that goes outside so when people when we're at like a chiropractic office that they have an outdoor plug-in we plug the bus up to the outdoor electricity then we don't have to use the generator it's really convenient so I think that's all. If I forget something, I'll let you know. But I hope you guys have a great day.